will start Novak in. Play was outside. Action continues. Dragging that skate and apparently just holding the line was O'Neal. Shot never materializes. Binghamton up with it to the line. It's held in there by Brandon Berlund. Down low in front of the backhander, and they score. Well, if you have the video replay challenge that mimics the NHL, I'm not sure that that goal would stand, but it will here. And the man who I thought put the play outside originally, Brian O'Neill, opened the scoring here tonight at 539 to make it a 1 0 Devils lead. And that original play that just stayed in the zone offside. Turning up with it for Binghamton, throws it right up the gut center point. Baroni knocking it down. Novak immediately on him. Big blast. Atkinson, puck is free. This goal! Max McCormick poking on the rebound and on the power play. Binghamton ties it up in a goal apiece. Binghamton unafraid to get in the dirty areas during that power play, and they end up finishing off with Max McCormick. Nice point shot that time from Jason Axon. They always keep it low so they can get that rebound off the pads of Wedgwood. This one squirts out to McCormick, who absolutely slams it home, just trickling past the goal line. So McCormick with the goal. And Max now with a dozen on the year, 25 points. Binghamton really showing some urgency on that power play, some activity in front of goaltender Scott Wedgwood. Johnson, this one played in deep, descends with it. Rupert cuts to the front, shooting. Not much of an angle as he worked that one around the blue liner down low. That was Rob Arenka, and the long shot off the boards, and Wedgwood to absorb it there with 10.25 to go in the first to face off up coming to his right. O'Brien will win this battle as McPherson ahead through center does Alino. Had Ben Johnson lined up for a hit that never materialized and Johnson got rid of the puck. A shot short side here by O'Brien. Shouldered out by Chris Drieger. Puck fired out to the point. Kept alive. Long shot by Paul Geiger. That one body down to the edge. Strieger on all fours. He'll cover and get the whistle. Indeed, Albany winning the face off here. Delayed call coming against the Devils or Senators? And now we've got Stortini dropping the gloves behind the play. This has been brewing in the first period as he and Pierre LeBlanc tied up in close. And LeBlanc seemingly frustrated here as Stortini has him locked up. No punches have been thrown yet. Stortini tries to get a soft overhand right in, but there's just no room right here to load it up for either one of these tough guys. They lead their respective clubs in penalty minutes. The linesman is skating around here, but so far it's literally been nose to nose between these two tough guys. Now a couple of punches come free. LeBlanc catches Tortini on the chin with an uppercut, and now a heavy right will knock the Binghamton captain off balance. And Stortini comes back up as a linesman jumped in. Zach tried to get one final lick in there. These two will go five each for fighting at 3.05 of period number two. Across the line, O'Neal with it. Leaves it in the slot. Lorino with a drive. That one blocked. Rebound is loose. Kicked out brilliantly by Drieger as he stopped Max Novak on the rebound. Now through Senu O'Brien moving back in for Albany. Feeds it back. Tipped away. Atkinson starts a 2-1-1. On he and Baroni in on Wedgwood. Shooting save. No rebound. Wedgwood collapses on that one as Atkinson denied. Binghamton will end Binghamton's year overall. The Devils will go to the playoffs. The outlet finding Robinson. One on one. Drives to the front and couldn't get a one handed drag in on Wedgwood as he couldn't finish the sprint past Mark Andre Grignani. Jim O'Brien. Atkinson with it. Works the point of the umbrella off of the Duke right circle. Shooting. That one gloved down. McCormick was doing his best to set a screen in front, but a nice job by Brandon Berlon to ride him off the edge of the crease, providing Wedgwood with a pretty good look at that one. Right circle rising, Rister, that one off the cuff of Drieger's Trapper. It's rimmed around. That's going to get us to overtime here on a Friday in downtown Binghamton. As Puck dumped in, Dragnani up with it here. He'll move out Binghamton with Atkinson, Veroni, and Carlisle out there. Drieger handles behind the net, clears to the corner, up with it, knocked down Gragnani, feeds to the front, Drieger in front, they tap it, back door, and they score. Jim O'Brien, the former senator, it lasted more than 12 seconds, but not much longer. 22 seconds in, O'Brien with the overtime winner, his 18th of the year, and the Devils will claim a 2-1 victory. Deja vu from earlier on in March, but that was an absolutely beautiful passing sequence. It starts with Mark Andre Gragnani. Then another pass right in front. They had the option to shoot that one, but a backdoor feed to who else but the former B Send Jim O'Brien. He stays red sizzling hot this late down the home stretch. That's big for Albany. Nice two points for them as they keep on trying to chase down Toronto.